Hey guys, it's the next morning. Um, I was laying in bed and I decided that I was going to replace these one by threes. These right here. I'm going to replace these with one by fours. And I'm going to take the one by threes that I have here, put them on this board like this. Okay. So when I get ready to run my countertop supports like this, I'll have a ledge for it to sit, okay? Now over here, I have a small issue, sorry about the shadowing, and that is this outlet. All right, I have to put the board for this corner this way. I can't put one that way. I can't do it this way because of the outlet and I'm not gonna move it. So this wall right here, this post, these are all of two by fours that were taken out of this wall that used to be right here. So every time you take out, a, when you're taking down a wall, you take the stud out and you put it on the side and then you take a stud out, put it on the other side, take another stud out and put it over here. So these are all four by four stacked on top of each other. There's plenty of support right here for this corner. So I went out and bought a real cheap 79 cent nylon outlet cover and that I can trim, as you can see right here, it's just a hair too wide. This may just be small enough, I don't need to trim it because this is a metal one and I, the reason I did that was because these are paintable. So that's what I'm gonna do, that'll help with that issue. And I'll just double this up if I can. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I have to finish this corner over here. I gotta take this baseboard out. I'm going 18 inches out. I've got to do a support here and a support this way for the corner. And then I've got to build this part of the frame. Let's see, 18 inches. This is 18 inches right here. So I'll come out 18 inches. I'll build the mirror to that after I do the sides. Attach everything, then do the cross bracing and the countertop in episode three.
that's going to be the right one. There's not a stud until about 22 inches. So I don't have anything to nail to this at 16 inches. When the guy that I hired took out this window, there's no stud right here, okay? So this is supposed to be 16 on center, right, for your stud in the wall to put this up, okay? I don't have anything there. There's absolutely nothing behind here. As you can see, there's a significant gap in the floor. The floors are not level. This is an old house. It's been moved. Uh, it was moved from about five miles away from here. And there's a smell coming out from underneath the house. It's a very musty smell. And it's been like that for years. So I have some leftover cord around. And to seal it off, just to make sure that no bugs and things come in here, I'm going to seal it off and help keep that odor out. Because it's very offensive. I mean, you can smell it coming, you know, coming in this room. So that's another thing I got to do.
my mark here. I need to drill my hole. Get off the table a little bit. Hold up a little bit this side. Put my fender washers on. through the hole. There we go. Right. So I'm going to pinch this and slide it in. And same thing for the bottom. Okay, they're in. Alright. camera is I don't know why I didn't record it but I got this in it's just tacked as you can see it's real wobbly but I do just I just have a tack here and a tack there so I'm going to be putting another board under here 
and then one for each of these. I'm basically going to mirror what I did over here, over here. You can see the plywood's going to set and then it will be flush up here at the top. And so that's what I've got to do next is cut each one of these and install. But I want to strengthen my corners right here. So I've got some corner brackets that I'm going to put in. I'm going to put two on each of these corners. That will give more support here in the corner, probably overkill since I'm going to have all that support going the length of this board. Damn, I cracked it. Ah! Grr! Do it again. <laughs> the battery died. <laughs> <laughs>